Welcome back everybody. Thanks for tuning in to another one of Hoggy's Quick Beer Reviews. Today I have another beer for you and this one is much like the last one I reviewed because today's beer is another English Pale Ale. Take a look at that guy right there. This is called Black Sheep Ale. This is from England and uh, on the side it says right here in this uh, crazy font it says this is Black Sheep Ale. The culmination of five generations of brewing expertise, brewed at the Black Sheep Brewery in Masham, North Yorkshire, and nowhere else. Signed, Paul something. Crazy font, can't read it, don't know if that's a last name or what, but uh, Black Sheep Ale, crisp, dry, and bittersweet. One pint, uh, 0.9 fluid ounces. I saw this at uh, Whole Foods the other day, and, you know, I love, I, I love British beers. And, uh, you know, it just looked cool and, you know, cheap bottle. Why not? Let me pick it up, see what's going on with it. I bought it on a lark, came home, punched it up, just like we're going to do right now. And uh, Beer Advocate tells me that out of 288 reviews, this gets a B plus. The bros give it an A minus. And, of course, this is the uh, Black Sheep Brewery, United Kingdom. This is an English Pale Ale at 4.40, or 4.4 ABV. So that's that. Now, the beer is new to me. This mug is new to me. I just picked this up. I got this at Walmart. I got the big ass mug. I've been wanting a smaller mug, and you know, I saw this for like a buck and change, so I had to get it. Been wanting a small mug. I figured it'd go good with this beer. I hate supporting the Chinese economy, but hey, you know, a dollar something at Walmart, why not, right? Now, you know, uh, I hate doing the same style of beer you know consecutively but I picked up the Saranac yesterday on a lark just for uh, for the you know for my pizza while I was watching football and I've been sitting on this one for a week or so so I figured what the hell besides I still got a couple of uh, Saranacs in the fridge they might go good after this Ooh, I didn't even notice this oh that's cool oh man I might save this cat hope it comes off intact I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to make this out it says black sheep and like some really crazy cursive across the cap. But I like that one. That's that's really cool looking. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna be gentle. See if I can get this off without. Whoa! The bottle broke, man. Oh, that sucks, dude. Dude, check that out. The bottle broke. Man, I just saw a review on YouTube the other day where this happened to the guy, and I'll be damned. It turns around and happens to me. Shit. What do I do now? Well, they said filter it out, so let me find something to filter it with. Hmm. Alright. Alright, we're back. Uh, it took me a second to strain it and, and uh, get it all in here, so I, I spared you all of that, obviously. Nice little edit there. But, uh, yeah. I wasn't going to throw that beer away, glass fragments in there or not. I don't throw away beer. But, uh, you know, I strained it. I strained it all out in here. I caught the, the big fragment. It looks like it was just the one piece that broke off. And, again, you probably see that guy right there uh, sometimes the caps are glued on they use a little bit of glue there and I think this fucker was just stuck on there so tight but the cap came out in good shape so oh well as I was pouring it out since I was straining it was going real slow and this thing gave a really nice creamy head it's faded a little since I poured it to to now when I'm, I'm back with you guys but uh, the head on this beer is really good it's, you know, like I said, it's gone down a little, but it's still rocky, still a little foamy. But it was looking, it looked almost like nitro head as I was pouring it. But, uh, the color is a very nice amber color, kind of an orange amber. Very good color for a pale ale. And, uh, hey, fits my mug nicely. I like this mug. Hmm. Oh, yeah, this, this is an English ale for you. Mmm, buttery, malty, with just the slightest hint of hops under there. Yeah. 
Mm, yeah. This is, by the smell of it, this is a very nice English pale ale. So, mm, enough of that. Must be a little bit of old speckled hen. But uh, let's give it a taste. Wow, this is smooth. This is very, very smooth. It's so smooth. You don't really get too much up front because it is just so smooth. Nothing really hits you up front as you're drinking. Then, you know, kind of across the middle, you feel, you know, the texture and the slight taste of the malt. It's not very overpowering, not very strong. It's not very malty. It's just very smooth, very mild. And then towards the finish, the bitterness comes in and you really do get the hops. Again, um, Kent Golding, I'm assuming, you know, uh, European hops, um, but very tasty. Mm. Do get a little flavor of biscuit in there with the malt. And of course that buttery taste and texture that you get with uh with this yeast with the English style ales. But this is very nice. Mm. See, if I had thrown it away when the bottle broke, I would have missed out on a really good beer. This is good stuff. This is good stuff. Very clear, very clear, very nice color. Yeah, you know, I wish I had bought another bottle. This is good stuff. Um, I don't know what much, uh, what, what, what else I can say here, and I'm still tripping over my little accident there. So, I mean, guys, black sheep ale. This is a really good English pale ale. Oh man. You know, I want to give this a glass full. I got no reason not to. Through all, all this, it warmed up a little too much, but it's still very drinkable. I like it. It's smooth. It's tasty. There's nothing in this beer that screams out and says, hey, you know, there's no outstanding flavors, nothing incredible about it, but it is just so smooth. Let's see, what, what was it the bottle said? Uh, five generations of brewing expertise? Yeah, I, I can believe that. I can believe that. This is well made. This is well done. This is, this is tasty. This is tasty. So, guys, Black Sheep Ale. If you see it out there, pick it up if you like English Pale Ales. Um, for reference, it's in the neighborhood of Old Speckled Hen. And it's just a good, tasty British beer. Um, just be careful when you open it. You might have an accident like I did. But this is good stuff. Glassful, I recommend it. Thanks for joining me. Cheers.